So right now you can see all the products here doesn't have any discount. Um, so what we are going to make is this. Uh, here you can see all uh, products in this category has um, now a 50% uh, percentage of uh, discount. All right, let's go into the control panel and then navigate to uh, WooCommerce uh, products, all products. And it's in this uh, case, I want to select the, the category uh, raw and uh, I press filter. All right, so this is all the, uh, the products that you just saw before. And uh, now we'll just select them all. And you can do this, uh, you don't have to choose a category. You can just select one or more uh, products if you want a certain discount on a specific number of products. So uh, now I just um, choose uh, edit and apply. And this now gives us the possibility to change the price. Um, but we don't want to change the regular price. We want to change the sales price so the customer can see the difference in the sale and the price. So you would assume that you just have to uh, use this decreased existing sales price by a fixed amount of a percentage. So when I choose this, I would maybe like to set 50 percentage discount um, and then I will press update. But when I do this, this happens. All the products will go to uh, zero. And the reason why this happens is, uh, I can show you here, edit. Um, I think it's maybe uh, WooCommerce's own fault because uh, the wording could be a bit better. Uh, as you can see here, it's called decreasing existing sales price. Uh, but the problem is that we don't have any sales price. So you can't decrease something that we haven't yet set. Uh, so. You, what you have to do is uh, choose uh, the last one here. It's called uh, set a regular price, but because that's actually the price that we are going to make a discount on. So I will now choose set regular price uh, decreased by a fixed amount or percentage. And in this case, I will set the 50% uh, percentage. And uh, then I press update. All right, so now you can see all the products actually uh, applied the discount and let's just check on our shop. Yeah, here you go. So now all products has this 50% uh, discount and it's also uh, visible down here what the, the difference is. And you can see it on the single product. When you want to uh, remove the discount or let's just say uh, a period has passed and now uh, it's no longer uh, a discount on this uh, category. You will just uh, go ahead and navigate to uh, the control panel and the products again. I think I actually have them here. Yeah, this is all the products that right now is a discount on. So I will just select all again and then click edit and then choose the same thing, but this time I will set it to zero and press update. And then it's normal again. And if you're wondering how to make this uh, small batch, uh, I just show you really quick. I'm um, using um, a plugin called, uh, uh, yeah, for this you actually need a plugin, but it's really cool. Um, and uh, this is only if you are interested, but uh, it's called uh, Jet Woo Builder, and it's actually, I will link this page in the description. Uh, and as you can see here in my elements or um, editor, that if I press uh, this, it's called uh, product grid. And down here, I have uh, the solution to choose batch to show. And then I will just set this small piece of uh, code uh, percentage sale and then I will use some text afterwards yeah that was just the last uh, quick tip if uh, you are, were interested thank you